Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's the Mac here, and welcome back to uh, a continuation here of the uh, Panzer Campaign's Budapest 45 Wargame Design Studios, John Tiller Legacy Game here. So I've made an introductory of this, and now we're going to pick a battle, duke it out. So you can see some of the cool scenarios that comes with this game. Um, yeah, so we went over the designation of the um, scenarios in the game is that these scenarios, always in the beginning here, it's actually the actual date the battle took place. So there you have 1944, 1029. Uh, and uh, the alternate is the Ed Man, um, uh, alternate take on the scenarios from the, instead of the stock, it's an alternate. And the ones with the A are the ones that are optimized for head to head play. And B is uh, ranked as being uh, optimized versus the AI, so to speak. Um, so that I, I was talking about actually playing one of these B ones since it was supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, more tough to play versus the AI. Uh, had a look at them, and uh, some of them are pretty big, except this one here in the start, the Kekshamet. Uh, Kekshamet. Uh, it's actually a when the um, when the Russian forces were outside of Budapest and sort of attacking from the east, they smashed through the defense line. And this Kekschmet was one of the first settlements or towns that they stumbled upon. And the Germans actually mounted a sort of small counterattack uh, with, with the 24th Panzer Division and some armor from the Hungarians. And uh, it. Uh, sort of stalled the attack a bit, but it's kind of small, and uh, so it wasn't that much into that one there. Uh, the other ones they got is uh, this one here, it's huge, it's 64 turns, it's a bit big to actually do a Let's Play, it will be many, many episodes there. And uh, I think they have some more down here, yeah, this, uh, this one is 42 turns, it's pretty big as well. So I was actually looking at this, the Conrad 2 scenario here, and we're going to be trying the alternate version. It's supposed to be better, I guess. I mean, it's more revised. So this one looks interesting. 17 turns. It's pretty good. It's uh, the 10th of, of January, 1945. There's a small battle uh, location. Let's see if I can pronounce this. Uh, Pil uh, Pilis Shinkretz, something, uh, 15 kilometers northwest of Budapest there. So uh, by the end of the first week in January, it was clear that Conrad attack was bogging down around Bixk and Henk. Fourth SS Panzer Corps uh, proposed uh, to shift focus of the attack further east, where the 711th Volksgrenadier had captured Gran and attempt to drive towards Budapest from that point. Both sides were worn out, but in fact, this attack actually came the closest to really reaching Budapest and might have done so if not stopped by Hitler's orders. Yeah, so this scenario is being co compressed when compared to the historical time coverage in the phase of the battle. And it's, as I've shown you the documentation, there are alternate campaign changes. It tells you what uh, rules to be click, uh, clicked in here. And they, they do have it written here as recommended rules. So they sort of, they are, the default rules are always, if you start a scenario and press the default button, you'll get the, default rules for the stock scenarios, but if you play any of the others, you're going to have to go into that documentation and click those rules. So let's try this one out, man. This could be fun. So this is, um, yeah, so the uh, the Germans, the Conrad there was the, uh, this was actually the last big offensive uh, the Germans did during the war. Usually Battle of the Bulge there, the um, on the, in the West, was everybody thinks was the, sort of the last ditch effort for the Germans to, to change the course of the war. But this was, was actually um, the last big offensive, and um, the Germans actually scrounged quite a lot of forces for this attack. It was kind of amazing. Uh, it was doomed to start, of course, because the, Germ the Russians were so uh, huge forces and they had so much, so much stockpiles and, and tanks and artillery and everything at this time. I mean, whatever the Germans would have done, they would have been outnumbered. In <laughs> and uh, so the, uh, but it was a pretty powerful force that went over there. It was actually shifted from the West to be refitted 
and then uh, used in this uh, um, attack here, this, this Conrad uh, uh, operation there. It was actually in three phases. So uh, it was actually Hitler's orders. He, uh, he was uh, obsessed with the oil fields there in uh, Hungary. And uh, so that was one part of the objective of this, was to actually hold and secure the oil fields so uh, Germany could still get oil and, um, to their war machine there. And it was also a relief effort of Budapest that was encircled by Russian troops. And in that town there was a lot of German troops and a lot of Hungarian troops as well. They were sort of doomed. Uh, so this was a relief effort of some of these crack units. The, uh, the 4th SS Panzer Corps was pretty badass attack force. And the 711th Volksgrenadier Division was pretty good for being a Volksgrenadier Division, actually. But they were pretty uh, well trained and uh, had some good veterans in it. Uh, so it was like a two-pronged, I mean a two-objective operation, basically. But I think most of it was to secure, I mean in Hitler's eyes, it was mostly to, to get, secure the oil fields. We know his doctrine about <laughs> relief efforts and uh, and units that are, that were the one to maybe pull out and um, like Stalingrad for instance that's the the best uh, the best one I can come up with now uh, that the Stalingrad was just Hitler's actually that, that made that happen because they could have pulled out and uh, reorganized but uh, they were Hitler refused uh, them to retreat from the city and defend it to the last man. That, that ultimately doomed them. And this, was this, this is going to be the same case for Budapest. So uh, we're going to start this one up here. Um, we're going to be the axis in this one. And uh, so this scenario is not optimized. I mean, it's optimized. I mean, it is meant to be played versus the AI as well, of course. But it's not one of those. So it's, we'll see how it goes. It might be very easy or it could be hard we got a lot of things going against us in this one i guess so rules are checked in um this is what they recommend so they are done mm -hmm. and we're going to be the axis there let's go right we got a night turn going we started at night here okay yeah so here we go this is the map here right so 10th of January 1944, turn 1 to 17, snow conditions, night. So we start at night time here, 10 o'clock. So look at the settings again. Um, yeah, we got night fatigue in there, okay. Right, so this is what it looks like here. If we hold shift, we can see some of the um, towns and, and uh, places on the map there. Right, so this was a, uh, this force, this attack actually came closest to, to uh, Budapest, and then there was actually a shift in uh, orders from Hitler again. He intervened, and uh, many would have thought that this this was actually the the, 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 re the relief attempt that was could have succeeded actually in punching a line through the Russians and getting to Budapest and maybe creating corridor for those guys to get out. But Hitler intervened, and actually some of these forces and strengths were shifted to the south, and there was a new attack further south of this theater, and that made uh, these guys not able to push on. And then they, subsequently the Russians launched a counterattack, and they were too weak and depleted and were pushed back. But uh, So this scenario depicts that initial thrust, I guess. So let's have a look at the map, and we got some uh, exit hexes, so this means we got to be moving fast, smashing through the Russians, and trying to get off the map, I guess. So look at the victory conditions. Uh, yeah, all right, so, wow, okay. We need a lot of points. We're starting out with zero points. Even if we get 800 points, we still have a major defeat. 900 minor. 1100 we get a minor victory and 1200 we get a major victory there okay so we need to rack up a lot of victory points in this one okay looking at the map we've got a couple of uh, victory objectives here just right off the bat i can see here that i mean this is 300 points 400 450 500 points worth of victory uh, objectives 
and that's nowhere near a, a, uh, a victory. So just capturing the objectives is not going to cut it. We're going to have to destroy, we're going to have to capture the objectives, some of them I guess, destroy a lot of Russian units and exit uh, units off the map. So this is going to be a tough one for sure. Right, so what do we got at our disposal here? So up north, we have the 711th Volks Grenadier Division. So I like to press the highlight organization. Right, so this is the whole division here. Right, we're going to probably have depleted forces here. We're not going to have full strength divisions. So right off the bat, we can see that it's Reichert who is in charge. Morale C. This is okay for a Volks Grenadier. I mean, for a, considering it's a, Volk, a Volks Grenadier Division. C is good. So they're pretty good. Um, let's look at the frontline units here. So we have 4 the 4 Volt Grenadier Company here. On their strength, they're 80% strength, 240 men. Uh, decent, soft, and hard. Assault is 14. This is good. Defense is 16. This is also good. So they're pretty good forces. They have high assault values and good defense, but they're offense. This is not the best, maybe. Uh, all right, we got some uh, nice. We got some Panther 4Gs. This is the latest model uh, of the Panthers. They made, there was like three or four models of it. This is the the, the absolute latest one, the, the 4G. So we got some Morale B. These guys are pretty good. Uh, they are part of the 24th Panzer Division. Um, yeah, look at those stats here. Are pretty good. So we got them. This is going to be our shock punch. Punch force there. Uh, we got some more Volksgrenadiers from the 7-Eleven there. Here we have a regiment. These guys are eight, only 80 men, 80%. How come? So that's a pretty depleted uh, company there, regiment there. Okay, they're part of this. Okay, so they are. They've been split up for some reason. Not sure why that's that. We got some more in the front here. We have Fusiliers. These guys seem to be split up as well. 90 men. Okay. We have some artillery support. Adequate artillery support there. We have another Fusilier down there. Okay. What else we got? There is a, a regiment. Headquarters area there. We have Pioneers. These are good for assaulting as well. 16 there, defense 18. And we have some Hetzers. Jack Panzer's 38. Good tank killers. But pretty lousy for assaulting. Alright, we got 10 of those there. Alright, so that's the Volkswagen Division there. We do have an objective here. Now, there's not, there's not an exit hex over here. So going for this, it's only 50 points. Not sure if that's just sort of to lure you in to capture this. I mean, I guess I could send some forces in there to capture it. We could destroy some units here as well. This is where the price, we're going to go down south here, smash through these and get out of here. Uh, yeah, there's, there's another exit hex down there as well. Okay. Uh, we'll see how we plan that out. So look at the forces here. So we have the headquarters of the 5th SS Panzer Division. This is a very interesting division here. Um, yeah, 5th SS Viking Division. So a lot, big part of this division was actually volunteers from uh, many of the, uh, like Finland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark. And uh, so th these forces were, and mixed with some Ger German troops as well. This was like a sort of a volunteer division. Uh, not the whole division, but um, some of them. Let's look at some of the front line. Yeah, we've got Germania here. Um, yeah, Morale A. So these, these guys, look at that. Artillery C, but Morale A. These, these are crack fanatical units. Morale A, good soft attack, but they're pretty depleted. There's 141 men, so it's not that huge. Uh, they have 
Those guys have trucks, they have half tracks, good assault values. So they got half tracks, which probably increases their attack rating there and assault values. These guys are in trucks. They're Germania as well. They have some Panther 4 Gs at their disposal. 24, so it's a, it's a regiment of tanks there. It's depleted, 60%. Here we have Norway, Norway. Uh, Norwegian troops. West, Westland. Uh, I think these are also volunteers from the Western Europe there. Yeah, these are pretty badass troops. They're not big. We have some Panzerkampfwagen 4Js. These are the, the, the what's the latest model that was produced. They're pretty good. And we have the, these interesting Jack Panzers 470s. So the, these guys, uh, these tanks were actually supposed to be the replacement of the Stugs that we had over here, the Stugschutz. Um, this, these had a uh, length 70 barrel. They had even uh, a better 75 millimeter barrel that was, if you look at the hard ratings there, it's got 48, you got 33. Yeah, so that was, a, they had a very dangerous gun on it and improved uh, armor. So they, uh, there's only five of them, so gotta be careful with them. They're definitely tank killers. We have some tracked artillery here, Hummels, this is good. Some more engineers. We have some reconnaissance units in the back. And we have the Gil, the main headquarters of the whole Kampfgroup there. Right, we do have some 88s as well. Only four 88s, but uh, could be useful. All right, let's make a plan, man. What to do here. Um, right. So the question is to capture this or not. Or just go berserk and charge down south. This is probably gonna, we have 17 turns. So we got to make, make it count, I guess. We're spotting some 86 guards in front of us here. Three digits unknown. We're just hunked up in this forest on this road here. We have this regiment facing them off there. No other units are spotted here. And I guess we don't have any airstrikes now. So artillery we have available. It's good. All right. Um, right, we do have tanks standing in this forest. We need, we need to do some scouting as well. We got recon. Let's see. So we got snow conditions, which is going to be a problem for our movement. But let's get some reconnaissance going here. Let's get these guys in half tracks mounted up. Uh, visibilities. What can we see? We can't see that much. Right, so reconnaissance works that there's a chance of spotting units in your visibility range, but e there's also a chance of spotting units right outside your visibility range as well. So that's what we gotta be using for us here. Let's get these guys up. Let's get them to this bridge and do some recon. And uh, let's get uh, recon spotting there. All right, look at that. There are units in this town, it's reduced to rubble. There's some units spotted there as well, across that bridge. Uh, let's get this armored car, eighth armored car is here. Right, we need to know what's going on over here as well. Maybe get a unit, let's get this, these cars in there. Let's do some recon. Okay, they, they couldn't see anything from there. All right. We do have some intel here. Right, the rest is going to be just moving up and trying to, to uh, spot units, I guess. We don't have much more recon to go with here. It's all the recon we got. All right, so look at our artillery dialogue here. We got the SS, these uh, heavy 15 vehicles here, the Hummels. They're very good. Let's give these guys some artillery barrages in this town. 
four casualties. Six good casualties there. Right before I commit artillery strikes here, I'm going to see if there's any more Russians hiding in these in these slopes and in, in there. Right, so they got hit. So they there were not that many men. They were three digits, but now there are only two. So there was just about over a hundred men there. All right, let's move out. Let's get these guys moving on top of this hill. We know know that this is 68th Guard Rifle Division holding that. They're not disrupted. So they moved in. They could start attacking these guys. Only cost two casualties. Firing back. We lost two men. Okay. Um, let's get the... Let's see here. We've got something there in clear terrain. Uh, what else we got? We got these guys. They could move across the bridge, I guess. Uh, let's get these guys moving down one step. Okay, we can spot those guys down there. We didn't get fired upon, so we get to drop on them. Actually, hold on. We got armor as well. We got to use to utilize the uh, the Panthers here. Um, they have range two versus soft. I don't think we can see them from there. No. We could position them there. We could fire with the, the Panthers. Lay down some suppression fire. Um, we could try and move the Panthers, the, the Panthers up here and attack these guys. Uh, let's try that. See if they can actually move and fire. It looks like they can. All right. Let's shoot at these guys in the open. It's going to be pretty devastating. Five casualties only. That was not a lot. Fifteen men. That's more like it. All right, he's firing back. We lost two men. Another man killed. Another man. All right, so they got full fire there. Okay, let's open up with these guys. Six men. Seven men. Wow, the casualties. Wow, it's pretty good. Still not disrupted. Um, let's get these guys across. They can fire. Let's attack the guys in the town. Only three casualties, all right. All right, so they have moved. Let's get these guys, let's see what's going on over here. Oh shit, all right. Let's force us on top of this hill. Uh, we do have some defense here. We do have them as well. Actually, let's work in the north first, all right. Um, what to commit here? Uh, couple of regiments in this army. We could go for this. Try to capture it. Uh, these guys are not... They don't have any transport. They're just on foot, these guys. Um, I mean, looks like this. these Panthers cannot move and attack the same turn. Uh... Which is a bummer. Uh, let's advance a bit. See what happens if we move in here. Okay, there's more units here. Uh, let's commit these forces over there as well. Actually, we do have them. Right, we need to get these guys. I don't know why they're split up. Um, let's get this unit. Let's see, how far can they move? So they can get over there. All right, let's combine these. They're part of the same. Let's combine them. All right, so now they're full strength. There was another unit that was split up. This unit here, yeah, these uh, Fusiliers. Uh, where can they all move and converge? Let's put them on travel mode. Okay, so they can... They can move in there. They cannot. We 
can get to there. Alright, we cannot converge these guys. Yeah, they will not be able to converge. Anywhere, I guess. No. Uh, well, let's try and get them down here and get them sorted out, I guess. Uh, let's get them down there. I'll get them there. They'll converge next round. These guys can converge, combine there. So we have 180 men. They will get with these guys. The next turn there. All right, we have something else. We have a build battle group going here as well. Um, we do have them as well. I um, mean, three of these with tanks. Maybe that's enough to capture that. I'm not sure. Let's send them over there as well. Let's get some more guys. Maybe cross this river and see what happens. Ouch. All right, there's forces here as well. Let's advance. Okay, there's Russians everywhere here. These tanks are good. We've got fired upon there. Uh, these tanks are not that great versus soft. Okay, now we have spotted a lot. Let's look at our artillery here. Which we do have four batteries in the north. Right, we need to rain down some death here. See so if we can get these guys disrupted. We have a battery of 105s. One man. Three men there. Right, here's a heavy battery. Uh, we're going to hit the town as well. Heavy battery. Let's go for these guys. Okay, we got them disrupted. One man only. Right, this is a light battery, 7.5s. Uh, let's focus on these. One man. Only one man there, right? Here we have another battery. Two men. One man. Okay, they got good defense there in the woods. Um, so they are disrupted. This is great. We can actually let's attack them once. Five men uh, might be too early to assault. So let's get the tanks in there. That road. They moved. Yeah, let's assault next turn with the infantry and the tanks. Three casualties only. Another one down. Two men, all right. They moved, they all moved there. Artillery's been spent. We're moving guys down. We do have them as well. Uh, let's focus here. So we can't move anymore in there. We have these guys. Let's get these uh, tanks to open up on this infantry. Seven men. Another four. And Westland. Two casualties only. Two men down. All right. Um, what else? We do have these. And we have them as well. They moved up to these guys. There's not much they can do. They will attack. Two men only. Let's get these guys on top here. We're going to shot at. No effect. One man, all right. 
Five casualties. That was a good attack. Let's get these. Uh, actually, move them in. They could provide some fire support. One man only. Oh, we hit by artillery here. No effect. More artillery strikes. Three men was killed. All right. So they moved. They have. They all had committed. All right. We do have some good engineers. In trucks. Well, let's use them for the main attack. We have those flax. We could put them in trucks and use move them up. Our headquarters are fixed. What is the command radius of this? Let's have a look. Um, Uh, view. There we go. Shade, command range. Right, it's pretty good. What about this? It's even better. And this, yeah, well within command range there. All right. Um. All right. What else we got? We got some regiment. We got some stugs here. Can be used. Um. Definitely move them up and in the main attack. Cannot attack this round, but uh, they're going to be used. Right, we have towed artillery here. This is bad. Uh, we need to get these sorted out. Set up. What is the range? 13. It's good. Let's just deploy them there by the headquarters there. All right. And anything else? No. Yeah, we got these guys. This attack group here. Um... I don't see any good point attacking in the north here. I mean, we can use this road later on, but it will, will not get us to an exit hex. I want only shift them down, because maybe this SS will smash down here and grab this as they're going out. And we'll use the Volksgrenadiers to capture this. So let's line them up. Let's get them organized here. Okay, so they're on foot. Start moving them south. They can move quite a bit there, right? And we have the Hetzers. Uh, definitely move them down as well. Headquarters can stay there. All right, it's looking okay. Um, see if I missed anything. That's all we got. And firing has been done, I think. Yeah. We have used our artillery. And we do, definitely don't have any airstrikes. All right. All right, send the turn and see what happens. Uh, let's just call it Battle One. Why not? All right, here we go. We got fast AI on there. Let's see what's going on here. Looks like we got caused some disruption on the enemy there. It's still night turn now. It's two o'clock in the morning. Core attachments are possible. Two artillery units unavailable. One unit is low in ammo. Two units recovered fatigue. 33 units gained fatigue. Yeah, we're doing, we're fighting on the night now. So, all right, we've got disruption on the enemy here. This is great. Uh, these guys are still holding it. That unit is disrupted. They're okay. That unit is disrupted there. Okay, interesting. Um, let's see. All right, we got disruption here. We can, we got a considerable force here now. We have. Lots of tanks and armor that can go for an assault in there. Let's do that. They didn't get to fire at us. Right, that was a, we lost four men and 13 on the enemy. They pulled back there. Pushed them in, in here. Okay, there's another unit there. They are disrupted as well. These guys can only move uh, one hex. It's really bad. Uh, we could put them in travel mode and get them closer. So we can assault here. Um, maybe, let's see here. They can move in there. They cannot fire. We can move in here, try to circle him, but there could be more Russian units. They are engaged with these guys. 
Okay, so look at the south here. So they're not disrupted in that town. All right, we need to look at artillery options here. Let's see. We we'll only have uh, three batteries at our disposal this turn. Not the best. It looks like we can only use them in the north as well. Okay. Uh, let's give these guys some shots before we assault. Five men. This is a light battery. It would be best to use that against these guys are in the open. Okay, we do have our last battery that should be used on these guys. One man. Four men. That was that was pretty decent. All right, all right. So I'm gonna end the video here. We've done our artillery phase. We're gonna be moving units. Hope you guys gonna enjoy this. Pants campaigns Budapest. Forty five man. Good game here. War Game Design Studios. So uh, we'll see you in the next part. We we'll continue the attack. So uh, see you later. Have a good one.